Hello and welcome to episode 21 of Idol Research. Today we look at ice tubes. Things will be very smooth. If it wasn't of one big mistake, I'll keep repeating again and again and again. And I don't know why. It's right now. In a second. Here. Look how much energy I have. I'm showing those, okay? I can buy red ice, even orange ice if I'm patient. I did not notice it. I will buy them at the end of the video, some of them, but throughout the whole video, I never noticed that I have enough energy to buy those. Very odd. Now I'm making videos and sharing mistakes with you. I don't hide them. Um, I just don't understand how I missed that. And it is what it is. What do you think? Maybe I was distracted because I was recording for the purpose of the video. I don't know. I don't know. But this is uh, the worst mistake I made in this entire series, I think. I'm not talking about uh, if you're new to the game, don't know the game, make a mistake. No, no. I know this game well enough now. But, well, is there an impact? In the very long term, absolutely none. But it did make me a little slower <laughs> for uh, this episode to build this episode. I'm going to still be able to buy every single ice upgrade and a bunch of colored ice or uh, you know red ice orange etc we'll sell many at the end of the video look at the bottom right last fire upgrade that you can see simulators don't reset on freeze mode because one e100 fire choose i was wondering because as i did this video I told you eh, i bought every single ice upgrade and in the end i was still doing a simulation by hand and it was still resetting then I carefully checked and I found this upgrade, 1E100 Fire Tubes. It's too expensive, so I won't be able to get it for this video. There's automation for this though, I'll get it, where it doesn't reset. This doesn't reset, the auto deploy stays, which is nice, I don't have to touch that. Arena does reset. Um, and look at that, I don't have much in it. Of course, this is my first freeze. I will want a decent amount of ice tubes because there are a bunch of cheap upgrades that I was interested in. Eventually I'll uh, prestige for the first time, set some goals and do my first freeze. I think the two first freeze you're going to see them in more detail. Oh here, this is a mistake too. And in fact I added some uh, acceleration, 400% because I was clicking around so much. I want to show you presets in a second. Come on, show the presets. Presets. There you go. They all off. So I didn't notice this and I did turn them on, but I had 35 minutes worth of clips. You won't see it, but you'll notice it in next uh, freeze. You'll notice that the presets are on. And the reason why I added a 400% speed up here is I was clicking around so much trying to get yellow tubes and I really detest when I click around like this. Normal energy production accelerator, very nice. But I do not have enough for boosters, of course. We just started. Okay, well, good. So 1.5 golden tube gains will be tremendously important, especially now. It always is, but for this first one, 65 A and P and A is a confusing uh, thing. Now I'm no longer confused with it. Remember though, when I was talking uh, about the fact that it really looked like Russian just because of the font. Uh, how many times did I get confused in this series? But we always end up uh, on top. In fact, in other series too, there are certain games I made very odd mistakes. I never try to hide them from you. Certain mistakes in the past, I could have hidden them easily. I'm in control, I'm the one editing the video. <laughs> Can look like this perfect pro. So here's zero, right? Well, of course, I need to prestige manually. I'm not used to that. I don't have the upgrade that gives you a certain amount of golden shoes based on how much you can prestige for. It can go up to 10%, can it not? Now I have to do it by hand and I will get a pathetic 2900 ice tubes. That's not enough. 
I want way more than this. And this is where I started looking at the cheap stuff like this, for instance, for speed prestiging. Anything that costs 10,000 or less, that was my goal. So I started prestiging back to back to back. Okay. And we're about to cut to the moment where I'm going to have a decent amount of golden tubes. Prestige again. Wrong button, but anyways. <laughs> Prestige, come on, let's go. 1E6 golden tubes, you think it's enough? By the way, I got the Prestige 1000 times. Let's see. So I'm going to do a couple of clicks, I think, it, just to show you the progress I made. See, crafting costs and mastery or something. But anyways, um, arena, okay, sure. Oh, stage 13, and I did unlock the green tubes. Potion stay, uh, automation for potion stays, perfect, I never touched it. I brew whatever I can brew and that's it. So that's good. One less thing to worry about. Or to manage, should I say. All right, so this is my fire upgrades. I'm looking to see if there's anything else I can buy, such as 1.5 golden tube gains, but look, I'm done with this first freeze at 492,000 first freeze that should do the job shouldn't it be able to buy all sorts of stuff I'm gonna take a look at them so speed prestige is an no-brainer and to help it there's a few things like 10 times research speed and then 10 times kill count will help also and look at that keep skills unlock that means once they unlock, they unlock forever. I don't have to go back again and again. So that's one automation between freezes. That stays, that's nice. Freeze mode starts with 5,000 energy, excellent. And the auto unlock accelerator that costs 100,000. I will end up buying it later, but I removed it from the footage, but I'll buy it, okay? Because we're gonna buy everything today. I wasn't sure if I should buy it or not, but I will. So that's still the main game, okay? But we're gonna go back to freeze mode real quick because well, maybe I'll look at simulators. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, that button, I wanted to talk about the, this button which increases the fetch reward on everything, okay? And the other button will buy upgrades. So thank you for the clarification, people in the comments, because I didn't understand those buttons to be honest. And now I do, thanks to you. Now it's time to freeze and get way more than what I had. Q freeze on Prestige, never used it before. Do you use it? Please let me know in the comment. Never used it before. 3.7 E10 Golden Tools. So here I'm trying to do Speed Prestige. The problem though is to generate energy, you have to kill mobs. I'll be able to Speed Prestige later, but right now I still gotta do it manually. Did you notice this? My presets are on now. Good. But yeah, I'll have to be much stronger than this to be able to speed prestige. I will, just later. So, let's see what we're gonna look at. Yeah, these are key upgrades, of course, no brainer. Um, I do not have the auto buy fire tubes yet. Maybe that's one of my goals. It depends how much I'll get at the end of this freeze. It has to be reasonable. I don't want to spend hours in one freeze either. Right? When I see it really slow down, well, I went with 48, uh, 48, what am I saying? So 48, 4.88 even, will enable me to buy what I was just talking about, auto buy fire upgrades. So uh, I was thinking, by the way. So yeah, auto buy generator. Yes, all skill automatically gain 1% of current skill shards per second. So my skill shards keep going up non-stop. Don't even need to kill anything. There you go. So that's going to be making my life much easier between freezes. Excellent. And now we should be freezing again. Chain freezing. Freeze on freeze. Freeze on freeze. And now I can get E12. Look, uh, I do reach 
purple sometimes when I speed prestige. It's not that great though. So now with E12, let's see what I can buy. I'm just gonna turn off the auto prestige. Okay, done. So the reason why I go back and forth is to check how much I have. So 2.5 E12, all right. Four times attack speed until I reach bubble factory. It's just to make it faster to reach the last zone. That's it. And all skills start with 25 levels and other things. You may want to rewind. I was distracted talking when I was buying these things. And look, I got enough energy to buy red ice. And guess what? I'll forget again. It's a mystery. Really a mystery. Until the end. In the end, I will buy them. All right. So, uh, skills stay. Uh, did I not have skill? Oh, maybe I have to unlock the area. Then the skills become available. That I'm not sure. You saw that appear, right? It wasn't there because I was not in the soda. How do you call it? The soda factory yet. I'm talking about the automation of skills. I don't know. Okay, so I should be doing a jump cut very soon now. There you go. I'm gonna look at simulation and as I said, I did all that manually the whole time because I don't have one E100 fire tubes. Next episode. Here I'm clicking. No, I'm gonna go buy Max. <laughs> I'm done with this clicking. Just trust the way buy Max is built. Trusted blind. Look, hydro plant. And after a while, we reach. Well, in fact, I gotta beat that stage. We're gonna reach the bubble factory. Here we go. First time I reached bubble factory in freezing. So we should get a pretty good amount compared to what we had before, should we not? I'm gonna show you where I stand with simulation. If you're curious about it, even though I have to start every single time, start over, what I mean. That's a good chunk. This will enable me to use mastery on a bunch of, not all of them though, I think, not yet. Should be most of them. So we're reaching almost a point where I'll be able to buy everything. We're not that far right now. That means I'll buy this red, orange, ice, and the others. <laughs> Anyways, so I play around with this, okay. And I'm about to show how much ice I accumulated. Ice tubes, E16. That's four zeros, that would be 10,000 times more. And look, I maxed out this upgrade, nice. So I think uh, it would be in order to, and it look, black tubes even. So I think, yeah, it's time to get out of this freeze. That's what I would do if I was here. Look, beautiful. These amounts will enable me to buy every single upgrade there is left. And then maybe I'll not say that I have enough to unlock red eyes, orange eyes, etc. So let's go there and check it out. Can we buy everything? The answer is already yes. 7.8 E16. So this is 1E15. The most important one, which is 10 times fire tubes. Nice, 1E16. Highest stages no longer reset when entering free zone. So even the stages don't reset by the end. I sort of forgot about that because I do have another video already, so it does confuse me, but this is really positive and this is pretty good overview of what ice tubes are about. Now, I did another freeze, okay. I reached stage 15 bubble factory. Uh, continue to push a little bit on ice tubes. And I'm approaching E3000 energy, okay. And I'm showing you my progress. Because we're in freeze mode right now. Showing you uh, simulators for the last time because we're pretty much done here. So I'm getting decent numbers in, even in freeze mode now. 
Not too, too bad. It's less in the, than in the main game, though, if I remember correctly. Although I'm a bit confused with uh, the offset in progress. And now we're going to reach E19 tubes. And now all of a sudden I find out that I have enough energy. So I'm going to buy a couple of those, okay? And it's very cheap, 100 tubes to... It's because I could have bought it so long ago, right? So I'm going to go up to green. And for 3500 I would get to blue. But I needed the video to end. So I'm just going to go up to 1% of whatever amount I have. So that would be E14. I mean in bank, unless I stop the freeze, let's see. 10,000 mythical tubes, okay, nice. Mystical tubes. Um, yeah, let's go back to ice, come on. So I'm gonna exit freeze mode, or I should, yeah, okay. So I'm out of freeze mode. That brings me to probably E17 everywhere. Oh, I don't have this. Automatically assign mastery. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't care about that. Never mind. Now we have all upgrades. So I'll go up to one E17 ice tubes. I'm allowed to click on it. There you go. If I see one E17, I can click on it and I stop. It doesn't affect my amount. It's 1% of what I have. It will be 4% of what I have, but I didn't click on it. That's how I do it, okay? So that's why it was so cheap, is because I could have bought it a very long time ago. But you know what, this is, I don't know if I ever logged out the game, man, during this uh, session. So I was just recording for the video. So it's really not a huge deal. It's just odd that I really forgot and was not able to notice the amounts. Oh yeah, here, by the way, something else. Ice group, you see ice group? And it said I need 100 ice tubes, but it looked like I needed 100 uh, diamond tube. It confused me a bit, but these are the upgrades that I have right now for uh, tubes and solitaire. You know, now that I log in every day and get my five points, I don't play anymore. But yes, that's where I am. I don't intend to spend money on diamonds either. The cylinders, okay. We might reach this amount next episode, we'll see. And dark tubes, I don't know what they are about. I don't know what dark flasks are about either. I didn't look at them yet. But I will probably start looking at that today. So those are my achievements. Making very good progress. 1E100 Golden Sues will probably reach that next episode. I mean, it's pretty inevitable, isn't it? And then, uh, yeah. We're doing pretty good. Missing only one Singularity Shard achievement. Yeah, yeah. It's really uh, the uh, what I'm curious about right now is the dark flask and dark tubes. These are two mechanics I've never seen ever. And I want to compare them to anti flask back then. So I'll uh, play on that today. But next episode is not about that, of course. You'll see. I gave you a clue. But, anyways, it took me a few times to do the voiceover on this. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.